Hi guys, what's going on? Uh, this is going to be my new YouTube webpage. It's uh, youtube.com slash ninjas hyper. Hang on, hang on, just a second. This guy has over 70 million subscribers. Eh? VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. You know, the funny thing about the intro is that we've been thinking about doing this video for a couple of weeks, and every time we look at the channel, it's no way, he's got 15 million subscribers, 16 million, 17 million. By the time this video goes live, he'll probably have 18 million subscribers, and this time next month, he'll have surpassed 20 million subscribers. In the last month, Ninja has gained 1.5 million subscribers. In the last six months, his channel's grown by almost 40 million subscribers. He's not just a YouTube megastar, he is an internet social media phenomenon. And that's the topic of today's case study. Hello everyone, welcome to vidIQ. My name is Rob. If this is your first time in these glorious YouTube surroundings, we are indeed the YouTube tool and channel that aims to help you get more views in less time by educating you on your YouTube journey. Any of the YouTube analytics, graphs, or tools that you see in this video that you're not familiar with, but like the look of, come from our vidIQ Chrome extension. There is a link in the description, and of course, it is free to download. Tyler Blevins, otherwise known as Ninja, this is his second YouTube channel because, as he reveals in this video, which incidentally has over 2 million views in itself, he deleted his first channel. If nothing else, this is an example of why it's fun to keep all of your content on your channel instead of deleting it because it tells you the whole story of how Ninja went from this to this. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to pretend to have a clue what's going on here. As you already know, my gaming knowledge and skills begin and end with Goldeneye on the N64. But for Ninja, Fortnite represents a current white hot gaming topic that draws in, on average, 4 million YouTube views per video. The channel gains around 6 million views per day, 175 million views per month, and somewhere in the region of 50,000 subscribers each and every day. And this doesn't even represent Ninja's peak. In March, the channel gained more than 3.5 million subscribers, and in May, his content was watched over 200 million times. This kind of makes me want to tap into the gaming audience here on vidIQ. I just need to know which game we should play. Let's get to the crux of why Ninja is so popular on YouTube or any other platform. And it's relatively simple, and Liam Neeson puts this best. What I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. It's talent. Most sources suggest Ninja started playing video games competitively in 2009, but of course, all gamers know that to compete at any level that involves prize money requires a lifetime's passion, and Tyler cites both his father and brothers as major influencers. And yes, this is some of those family members appearing on Family Feuds. You can look at pretty much any eSport website and it will tell you that Ninja has won competitions over the last decade, with prize winnings in excess of at least $150,000. And while it may be Fortnite that's catapulted Ninja into the mainstream, it was games such as Halo 3, among many others, that helped hone his skills. I may disagree with what I'm about to say here, but it is a generally accepted fact that video games are treated like sports more than they ever have done, and Ninja is effectively a professional athlete. But he's a professional athlete who, for example, in athletics, has gone from the 100 meter dash to 200 meters to the 110 meters hurdles, he has multiple skills in multiple disciplines, and that is a very unique talent. Why do they want to watch you play? Um, I think that I offer a combination of, of high gameplay, like high tier gameplay uh, that they really can't get uh, with a lot of other content creators. It's very difficult to be like one of the best at a, at a video game in any game or at anything at all in the world. So that one thing that every video creator struggles with at some point, that unique selling point, the value proposition of your content, what can you deliver that nobody else can, Ninja understands completely and delivers it with everything that he creates. Of course, what also helps is being one of the best gamers on the planet on one of the most popular games on the planet. But that wasn't without its risks. This time last year, Ninja was posting YouTube videos on PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds, more commonly referred to as PUBG. 
At the time, his videos on YouTube would average 5 figures, sometimes 6 figures, which is still fantastic. On Twitch, each stream hovered around the 20,000 view mark. But then he decided to make a crucial decision and pivot to Fortnite, a game that at the time was still emerging. It was a risk that, according to this Game On Air article, appeared to backfire initially, losing around 30% of his viewership. But of course, sometimes timing is absolutely everything and Ninja's figures quickly recovered on Twitch and began to explode. And that's exactly what happened on YouTube too, with views jumping from the 5 figure average to 6 figures and occasionally breaking the million view barrier. Now we've talked about creating content just as a topic's about to trend right here. This was a very specific thing in Fortnite that was occurring. But what about when you create content that hits the entire topic of Fortnite? Well, this is what happens. It was a pivot that paid off perfectly for Ninja. Interest in Fortnite skyrocketed from Christmas onwards. One of the key reasons for this being that Fortnite is free to play, so gamers can enjoy the video content on their PC, PlayStation or iPhone and then download it for nothing and become part of the experience. PUBG, while still being an incredibly popular game, is on the wane. From a very simplistic viewpoint and as Forbes magazine wrote, Fortnite has taken a massive chunk out of the user base of PUBG. Ninja chose the right side months before any of us knew this was going to happen. So yes, you could argue that there was a certain element of luck involved. Ninja chose something that blew up across the entire globe and his channel benefited from it. But I always subscribe to the notion that the harder you work, the more committed you are to your goals, the more passionate you are about what you do, the luckier you end up being. And here's the evidence. In an interview for Bud Light All Stars, Tyler said, I'm not just sitting here playing video games hoping I do good. No, you have to be better than thousands of people. You have to be the best player to even win money from tournaments. What I do is very demanding, definitely. As I continue to do it, my brothers, my girlfriend, my family, they're starting to see how demanding it can be. Now they are a lot more lenient with a lot of stuff. It's a lot of give and take and it's a lot of teamwork. It used to be I have a game and they would be upset and now they're okay with it. They're like, we get it. So there is a sacrifice and I'm sure we're all accustomed to that as video creators when we throw ourselves into our latest video production. But what does that sacrifice mean in Ninja's schedule? Well, it's pretty extraordinary. In a recent H3H3 H3 podcast, Ninja describes his regular day like such. The schedule is 9.30 is when I start in the morning and then I play until 4, so that's like 6, 6.5 hours. Then I'll take a nice 3-4 to four hour break with the wife, the dogs or family. We have family nights too and then come back on at around 7 o'clock central until like 2, 3 in the morning. The minimum is 12 hours a day and then I'll sleep for less than 6 or 7 hours. I'm just exhausted reading that quote. And as if to prove a point as I'm researching, filming and editing this video, I go to Ninja's Twitch and he's live streaming right now. So Ninja is one of the best video game players in the world. He's playing one of the most popular video games in the world and he's one of the most committed people to what he does in the world. Can you see how things are starting to add up here? If you're still not convinced, we've got more. Because what you see today is not only an expert video gamer, but also a very experienced, polished and skillful presenter of content. Unlike the random thumbnails and terrible titles that you see in Ninja's early YouTube work. Remember, Ninja has been on YouTube for six years and it's only in the past 12 months that his channel has started to blow up. It has taken hundreds of videos and several reinventions of the channel brand, as we can see most evidently through the thumbnails, to get to where he is today. And it's only in the last 12 months where Ninja has really started to apply two core YouTube fundamentals, consistency of brand and consistency of content. His thumbnails are instantly recognisable and the audience knows from day to day what to expect and that is exactly what they want. You are guaranteed to get the best Fortnite gameplay from one of the best in the world and until such demand changes, Ninja will continue to be one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube. Uh, and I also think I offer, um, I mean, I'm very goofy. If you've ever watched any of my streams or my YouTube videos, uh, I, I do impressions and, and you know, like stuff like that all the time and just crazy shenanigans. And uh, I think that the, the combination of that, it's like a hybrid uh, and it's just really fun to watch and uh, a pretty positive environment as well.
He's certainly goofy as you can see, but with that comes authenticity and a true and honest connection with his audience. You can see all of his video creating skills evolving as you watch his content, from the very first ones with almost no video tags and questionable audio. Chicks one shot, man, top ready, he dropped front red. Front red one shot. To more confidence in front of camera and more okay. confidence behind the please. microphone. Yes, please, please, um, please. Please don't creep up anymore. This is the perfect position to snipe from. To a video creator who carefully considers his titles, is able to rank for the biggest tags on YouTube, and can snipe players on Fortnite from a distance of 100 yards. I get him. Ooh. Now something we haven't really touched on yet is that YouTube is just one social media platform that Ninja is a rock star on. Arguably, he's bigger on Twitch. The numbers here are even more staggering. This is just your typical day on a Ninja Twitch live stream that's currently being watched by 75,000 people. If we take that as an average and multiply it by 12 hours, the average amount of time Ninja live streams every single day, you get 900,000 hours or 54 million minutes or 102.7 years of watch time every single day. So I've just finished editing that graphic and the mind boggles. I don't know where to go from there. I cannot fathom such a figure. The amount of watch time that Ninja gets on his Twitch live streams in a single day exceeds the lifetime of 99.9% .9 of the world's population. And what do all these people who are watching these live stream do other than this in the chat. I'm lost for words. In that case, let's go back to YouTube. You can't just dump 12 hour videos onto your channel every single day. So what Ninja does is leverage the power of YouTube, which is to take highlight games from the live stream, which tend to be in the region of 15 to 20 minutes long, and upload each one as a standalone YouTube episode. On Twitter, where incidentally he has over 3 million followers, he takes those videos and turns them into micro clips of around 30 seconds. Again, leveraging the power of a platform for fast mobile delivery of information. And it's pretty much a rinse and repeat job on Instagram where he has just under 10 million followers, mostly micro video clips from Fortnite sprinkled with the occasional picture from his life. All of which leaves us with yet more staggering numbers to try and put into context. 18 million YouTube subscribers, 11 million Twitch followers, 10 million Instagram followers and over 3 million Twitter followers. The only place that you may say he's had failure on social media is Facebook, where he's got a paltry 200,000 Facebook likes. Absolutely useless. But I think it's fair to say that he has many eggs in many different baskets, and those baskets have been noticed by celebrity megastars. London, so you have a studio in London too, obviously got him, got him everywhere? Yeah, just, yeah, just working, man. Just, uh, you know, just trying to catch the vibes. I was in Toronto for like a minute, so I just, uh, I had to come out here for something, I just decided to uh, stay and work out here for a bit. The reason nobody calls you anymore, Drake, is because you never answer your cell phone. I am flying through the air right now. Alright, good, right good, good. Yeah, I'm literally flying. I have, a, I have a, a spaceship right now, dude. This thing's insane. So this is your first time ever playing this game, ever. This is literally my first time ever to play dude, the game. Dude, we gotta give you a 100% win rate. I just tossed out something out of my pocket and it turned into a parachute. And I'm about to land on top of the building that you're in. So. so it was nice to be able to collaborate with a channel that has 35 million subscribers on a video that gets over 30 million views. A lovely little bit of exposure there for Ninja. This is a waste of time. Yeah, I haven't really got anything further I can add to this. If you were to try and put this into some sort of YouTube metaphor, Ninja has been hiding in plain sight for five or six years, developing his YouTube skills whilst being one of the best video games players on the planet. And then, all of a sudden, he's everywhere. He is one of, if not the YouTube story of 2018. And as if to reinforce the myth of Ninja, he's had Ninja-style injuries, almost losing an eye. And back in July, there was a rumour he died. 
But of course, that's an urban legend, and since we started editing this video, he's posted more on YouTube and gained probably another 75,000 subscribers. Phew! You know, I'd love to see what our audit tool would make of Ninja's channel. If anybody does know him, just give him a little nudge and ask, download the vidIQ Chrome extension, it's free to download, click on that channel audit button, and just take a look at those numbers. Because the ones we've gone through in this video are utterly astonishing. To get full insight on his channel would be amazing. But of course, you can do it on your channel right now. Now, I just wanted to give a big shout out to vidIQ community member Kaiser, who suggested in our video comments to do a deep dive on Ninja. We had a lot of fun doing research on this YouTuber, as well as putting together a much more detailed video than usual. Let us know what you think of this approach to video making in the comments below. And if you'd like us to do another one, of course, suggestions in the comments below. If you're hungry for more video content, about Fortnite on YouTube, we've done a case study on how small channels can have viral videos right here. And if you're into gaming as a whole, we've got a gaming playlist down here on how to start gaming channels and grow your channel. We'll see you on either of those videos. Enjoy the rest of your video making day.